Welcome back to Lucor Automotive. It's another dyno day. Obviously we are again not over at Lucor Automotive. We're at CIA Performance where if you've watched any of our dyno videos, we always are. Because they do all the dynoing for us. So, today we have a Cobalt SS. You've seen a previous video of this. Uh, we had a bunch of other fixing to do as far as fueling issues and some other stuff to get handled before we could get this thing on the dyno and start getting it all ironed out. Now, this car is also running on E85. It has had a little bit of head work and a little bit of boost work done. So it's gonna probably make a bit more power than a stock uh, Cobalt SS does. But we're not shooting for the moon here. It's reliability, daily driverability, because this is gonna be, I believe, uh, first car for a 16-year-old. <laughs> Yikes! Anyway, if you're interested and you wanna see some dyno stuff, stay tuned, here we go. All right, so under the hood here, we have an LSJ, two liter. Uh, it, wrong kind of LS. <laughs> it's the wrong kind of LS. But uh, it has had a little bit of head work done um, per the previous owner. However, when we got it, it also had already been swapped out for E85. Uh, I was running E85 injectors and the injectors were leaking down and causing all kinds of problems. We had a bunch of other stuff we had to take care of um, to get this car running correctly. We have also put in a brand new set of 1050 uh, injector and dynamics injectors. So we now we know have at least enough fuel, probably too much fuel for what it needs to be done. But that's why it's back over here. So Eric is gonna do all of our tuning for us as always and get this thing ironed out and running properly. Um, I don't know what's gonna make, to be honest with you. No idea. As long as it runs better than it did before. Yes, as long as it doesn't shoot flames and snap, crackle, pop all the time. Wait, that's what everybody wants. No, 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 no. No snap, crackle, pop, no shooting flames. It needs to run, drive, turn, stop, and do what it needs to do so the customer can actually enjoy the car and then decide if he wants to spend a stupid amount of money to modify it even further and make a snap, crackle, pop, shoot flames at that point in time. But first, make it run right. So that's what we're doing today. And you'll, of course, get to hear this thing running like crazy and making super charger sounds and a really loud exhaust. So if you're into that kind of thing. Stuff we don't show you off camera is all of the fiddly bits. Playing with the laptop and figuring everything out. So this is your very first dyno bowl. Here we go. Uh, just seeing where things are and what kind of telemetry we're gonna be getting. There's gonna be a lot of these because we don't know really anything about where this car is really starting from. single dyno video and since this is a dyno video I'm gonna mention it again this is the part that you don't see when you go to a tuning video and you want to make a pull and they make whatever horsepower and it's like a minute long and everybody's excited about it what you don't see is the hours of work that goes into figuring out all the specifics of this exact machine now canned tunes which is what were originally on this thing can get you pretty close in a lot of situations um, if you've done, you know, staged upgrades, you have an intake and you have a downpipe, you have a intake and a exhaust or whatever, um, can get you certain places. If you've swapped out injectors, if you're using exactly the right injectors, a can tune can get you somewhere. Um, but nothing really replaces getting actual dyno tuning done for your exact car. Um, Specifically with the fact that we swapped in some Injector Dynamics 1050 uh, CC injectors for this car, 
we have to get all of that stuff dialed in exactly to where this intake, this head, this blower, this injector setup, these sensors, everything reads the way it's supposed to read. So lots of, of this between bolts. in a building all right so give you an idea where we're starting from this is our baseline where we are now we have 235 horsepower and 224 foot pounds of torque now that's only running out to about 5700 rpms um, and more importantly when he is beginning our, our base tune um, he fattens it up significantly to make sure that it's safe so you kind of throw a dart at it make it fat and then work your way backwards leaning it out so as he leans out and as we go further in the rev range those bars will continue to grow. Um, that's running around a 10, up to an 11 maybe, as far as the AFRs go. And our target's probably in the neighborhood of about a 12. So he's got at least a full point of, uh, of AFR he can pull back. Leaner out, leaner is meaner. Keep on making pulls, making power. Haven't blown up yet either, which is good. pretty well um, injector wise with the 1050s we've got a lot left on the table we're only around a little over 50% duty cycle which is awesome um, so if said customer wants to up the power at some point in time he certainly can uh, what we've discovered is it's about uh, 12 and a half to 14 psi so slightly more than stock boost but not really much different um, and seems to be pretty healthy for 180,000 mile motor one more pull just to make sure and then we'll talk about the numbers. There you go, final pulls. Reasonably quick and easy. Yep. Compared especially to what we normally bring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's alright though. Couple of complications, but nothing real serious. You always gotta take the good with the bad. Right. And there's, I joke about it in every single one of these videos, but like, your job is not always like, rock star stuff all the time. Like, yeah, he makes diamond poles all day long. They don't get to see all of the painful part. Yeah. There's a lot more pain involved than, right. than the fun. 95% pain, 5% fun. Mm -hmm. So what did we finally make? Final numbers, uh, 262 wheel horsepower, 231, uh, foot pounds of torque made 14 and a, or 12 and a half to 14 pounds of boost somewhere in that range. Well, it actually creeped up far the higher you went in the RPM. So it started out um, at about 12 pounds and creeped up to about 14. Okay, so seems to be it's on stock boost levels as far as what we can tell. Yeah, real close. Um, very very healthy for especially for a hundred thousand mile motor. Did pretty well. Well, the other one says 182. So. Yeah. So. <laughs> We're also not going to push it real hard. Um, we didn't really include this in the in the video here, but um, E85 has been a little bit of a challenge for us here in Ohio lately. 
Um, and we'll go into that in a future episode. But this is tuned on essentially E75-ish. Yeah. Um, so if he is going to get a tank of bad gas or lower E, it's still going to be safe. Yep. Because we, we set our target AFRs in a safe range. Yep. Um, so if he gets 75, it's going to be fine. If he gets 65, it's going to be fine. If he gets 85, it's just going to be extra fine. There's just more safety there. Because we were really, we really weren't aiming for the moon on this thing. This is just kind of a daily Get it up and running, daily driver, make sure it's solid. Right. Um, so, there you go. Pretty good numbers. Pretty happy with it. Uh, lots of room on the table for upgrades later on down the road if you decided to do that. If you want to put a little bit of giggle juice in it, maybe, or upgrade the blower pulley on it. You just take the upper pulley off and just run around on the shaft and make all the boost. I mean, we could, we could do all kinds of things. So, whatever. Either way, it's done. We're good to go. We're very happy with it. Eric did a wonderful job as always. Always, always these guys over at CIA help uh, dig us out of holes. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. Uh, and uh, there's more superness probably coming very shortly also. So Yes. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do drop a comment in the comment section below if you're interested in this build or anything else that we worked on on this kind of thing. Uh, if you have not already subscribed, please click on the subscribe button. We always do appreciate new subscribers. Click on that like button. It helps YouTube know that you're actually paying attention. You can find these guys on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube at CI Performance. Um, pretty easy to find them. They do a whole lot of dino stuff. So if you're interested in seeing a bunch of what these guys do, they are the ones that do all of what we build. So as always, very much appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Take care.